My name is Casco Zero Vlogs, and you know what, guys? You finally got me to do it. You finally got me to rate the top 10 most gorgeous women ever to live on the planet Earth, right? Now, we're only talking about celebrities. I don't, I don't wanna like bring somebody's cousin or sister or baby mama into it. To be fair, we're only talking about celebrities, all right? These are only celebrities, whether they're alive or dead. Um, so, to be fair, all right? Seemingly, I call every chick ugly. Every video I make, she's ugly. Every video I make, I'm not attracted to her. Every video I make, she's ugly. Every video I make, she's, I'm not attracted to her. She's okay, I can see how somebody could be attracted to her, but I never say I'm attracted to them. I always usually end up calling them ugly. So, I keep seeing you guys' comments where you guys are like, hey, I, I want you to make a list of who is gorgeous, who's beautiful, who looks good to you, Casco. And what made me actually do this is that I saw a comment someone put down and I actually ended up getting like 30, 40 likes if I can remember right. If I can find it, I'll end up putting it on the screen for you guys, but I do remember that. I'm like, okay, you know what? I I'll make a video. I'll make a whole video. So we'll see how this whole video goes. Thank you guys my list right now. I'm gonna give you guys the rules. Basically, you have a nice smile. If you still look good as you got an odor, um, classiness. If they look good in short hair, or if they actually look good with box braids, it's gonna really put the love ball. That means that they're so good looking that they can look good. And one of the, my most hated things, box braids. I hate box braids or women with short hair. So without further ado, let's get into it. But if you guys are new to the channel, you guys want more content like this, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call you. So without further ado, we're gonna be getting into this and figure out exactly who is the most gorgeous woman who ever walked the earth. That's a celebrity that is. Let's find out right now. Maniac for that trap <laughs> Alright guys, the first person I have to give it to is Diane Carroll, alright? She has a very old-fashioned look to her, very, very classy. This is pretty much what every uh, black chick should, should, should go for. Very clear face, you know, she's not even trying to look gorgeous or anything like that, she just is. Uh, I don't really like the hairstyle too much, but it's, it's complimentary. It looks like a classy hairstyle. You guys get what I'm saying? You compare her from how she looks to the, the, the women today, to today, there's no comparison whatsoever, all right? There's no comparison. Um, you, you hear I have a little drawn on, but ultimately, you know, I think that compared to uh, the makeup that they have today, this chick doesn't have that much makeup on, man. Look at her, like very clear face, not even smiling, not trying to look good. That this is actually from a, a movie, I believe, or a TV show, just looks great. I thought it would only be fair to show some of their wallpaper pictures or like their modeling pictures, her again here. Looking very seductive, you know. Look, I, I like a woman look to them, you know. They're not trying to be, you know, have like a kid look, or some of these tricks have to have a kid look, or try to be overly sexy. She just, she just is. Again, you know, I, I love a chick with a nice smile. She has a kind of a funky smile here. Same type of hairstyle. You can see her body structure. A petite woman, you know. Again, just a classy chick. These are in black and white. Like, I, like she's still alive, I believe. But these are some really old. Uh, old things right here man I said she doesn't have to try too hard she just looks gorgeous from any from, i try to get different angles for the pictures guys um to make it fair so every angle you see just a gorgeous woman so I, and in gorgeousness like i said they're all gorgeous but in gorgeousness she gets a solid eight for me man i think she's like the epitome of like the beginning of a gorgeous chick like she has all the things of a gorgeous chick all right you guys so the next one i'm about to put on my list is amory all right the singer amory very gorgeous chick. So I think she has a more moderate uh, tone to her, the way she looks more moderate, you know. Um, she has the thick hair and stuff like that, but ultimately, she doesn't have a lot of makeup on, you know. She doesn't have to really cover too many blemish blemishes, have high cheekbones, pretty smile. Again, you know, hers from a different angle from the side, you know, sometimes people look different from different sides. Still, a solid looking chick. Um, not even having a smile, still looks good. She has that stunning look that can kind of just, you know, take you away and kind of just fall in her eyes a little bit. You guys get what I'm saying? She kind of has like a little bit of an Asian touch to her as well. Another one right here, you guys, you guys can see this type of look is very hard to pull off. A lot of chicks try to pull off this look and they just look stupid. They look foolish, but it's like this very mature, aggressive, yet feminine look. You know, like you're probably afraid to approach her because you're not sure you have enough game, you probably can't get her to make a clown of yourself, right? I think that she has that look, man. She just has this solid look. So 
on my list, I'm gonna have to give her an 8.3, man. A solid 8.3. This is a very gorgeous woman. Um, I got nothing negative to say about her, obviously. Right, so as I make this video, you guys will learn something about me. I love classic, like, like American beauty, I guess you can say. I love this classic look. I like very, very classic, timeless looks when it comes to females. I think that's very hard to pull off. And, um, you know, you'll see different clothing, different females at different times of, uh, of history of humans, and it changes, right? Beauty isn't always the same, right? Or, or gorgeousness, as we're saying gorgeous, right? Isn't always the same. But I like very timeless looking females. And you know what? The next person on my list is able to pull that off, which is Marna Hans. She has this timeless look to her. Very, very timeless look. If a person thinks of a pretty American uh, white chick, I think it would be her, man. She has a very timeless, timeless look to her. Here, here's another one, guys. Very, very timeless look. Very seductive eyes from the side. The hair complements her face. She obviously knows how to put herself together well. Uh, all her real hair. I'm sorry, she got to get points for that because if it's not your real hair, it's not really you, right? But I won't deduct points from it, but I will give them more points just for, you know, having the real hair. But yeah, very seductive look. Um, you know, she she just looks timeless. Like, she looks like she should be... I mean, she's also... She was like... Um, she won the beauty pageant for America, by the way. So she was Miss America. Uh, so that says a lot. A lot of people think this woman's gorgeous. So I try to get a picture of her just, just you know, paparazzi take or whatever you want to call it. And this is, this is another one. Does she look bad here? She really, really doesn't. Um, you know, I... From any angle you can get this chick, she looks looks attractive. And for the final one, this is I think this is one of the best pictures because a little bit to the side, right? She's cutting her eyes at you. Um, her eyes aren't like east and west, you know. It's, her eyes are perfectly right, and in, in each of the corner has a slight smile, not showing too much teeth. You know, you don't see her bottom teeth, you see the top teeth, cheekbones. You know, her smile complements her cheekbones there, right? Uh, her, her chin's a little, a little, a little, uh, uh, I guess sharp, but it doesn't make her look bad. It compliments her face. Overall, you know, clear skin. Come on, guys. Classic list of gorgeous women. She gets an 8.5 from me, all right? 8.5. Very, very attractive female. All right, guys. So we're moving on to number seven of the list. As you guys know, the it goes down with the rating, all right? So from 10 to 1, 1 being the best. The number seven on my list is Lisa and Bound. Again, another black and white uh, uh, picture here, but you guys can see she has that model look to her. But here is another one for you guys, all right? You guys can see she's kind of a, I guess, looks, she looks like to be a taller chick. I didn't go into her height and all that deep stuff. I had a bunch of people send me, um, you know, people to rate, to add in this list, but I, I definitely had to add her to the list, man. She, she's, uh, she's, a great looking chick. She looks like the other chick I just showed you guys, but she looks even better. You know, I like that mature woman look, you know? So much she's the type of chick that you can take home to mom or something like that, right? Look like a good girl, girliness. She has her knees kind of bent in. She's pulling it off, man. She's, you know, she's really pulling it off. This is, this is one I thought was uh, was one of my favorites when I was, uh, you know, getting, getting all this stuff together for you guys. She looks like, she has like this innocent, like look to her, but at the same time, you know, she has that look where you're free to approach her, right? We don't have game or something like that, right? It looks like a royalty chair, it compliments how she looks. Like I said, a chick being classy automatically makes them look almost good to me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like Estelle, to me Estelle is insanely unattractive, all right? But Estelle's classiness, the way she carries herself, I, I give Estelle an eight. And she gets an 8.9 for me, all right? She almost reaches a nine, but she's not as attractive as the next woman in my list. All right, that's the real reason she didn't get a nine because the next one on my list, to me, these are like the top, top chicks, all right? Once you hit a nine and up, I, I, it was very hard for me to decide. I had a lot of people sending me stuff, guys, so it was very hard to decide this, but like I said, this is my list, so let's get on with it. All right, guys, so we're on number six in the top 10 most gorgeous women of all time, all right? We're in to number six. So the person I have to give number six to is Chrisette big eyes all right this woman eyes are so god dang big it is literally almost protruding out of her head all right any bigger than that she look like a mutant and i just love one with big eyes man something about it you know she has very full lips you know she has like the way her face goes into like that very uh, symmetrical face this chick is is a very gorgeous female man. let's see also why I put her on the list. This photo, right? Normally, I don't like chicks with tattoos. Um, you know, it has 
to me at least a ghetto vibe to it. I don't like I don't like that bad B stuff. But her attractiveness makes this to me makes this work. You know, I don't like the hair. I don't like tentacle hair. I don't like none of that. But does she look attractive to me? Yes. And just think about it. At least coming from me, she's doing. She has uh, assets that I do don't find attractive, and she's still this attractive to me. You guys get what I'm saying? So I had to put her high with the other chicks because she's doing things that look worse, but she still looks better. Another reason why I put her above, she's number six, is because she's able to pull off short hair. Not a lot of women can pull off short hair. She still looks gorgeous with short hair. But what do I rate her? That's what the bottom line is. I'll give her a solid, a solid nine. All right, and the reason why I give her a solid nine because to me, she just doesn't compare to the other chicks. Like I said, they're all gorgeous in their own right, but does she compare to the other chicks? other chick the next chick i'm going to bring up just knocks her out of the water all right you guys ready for it let's get to the next one number five on my list is kelly Rowland. not much to really say man this is a good looking chick all right fake her whatever who cares this is a good looking chick another thing can you pull off a pretty smile i think she can pull off a pretty smile very pretty smile still has that woman asset look to her right but at the same time she has like this innocent look to her right everyone everyone wants a virgin a virgin uh wife or girl right she, and she i think she has like that that girly uh, innocent look to her, you know, like as a woman though, you know, and I, like I said, it's it's very hard, it's like a seesaw to not have like a, a child, like innocent look, but to have like a virgin, uh, naive look, right? Like, oh, you can teach her some stuff, right? You, you can teach her how to, how to suck the D, right? <laughs> you, got, you guys know what I'm talking about. We're all those men, we want to, to make the women tell her me for us, and that's what the whole innocent thing looks like, right? Regardless, I don't know where her body count is, I'm just saying the look that she has, but she still looks woman, right? She still has that 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 woman, that feminine woman look. So, Kelly Rowland on my list, right? Number five, she gets a 9.5 out of 10. Guys, so we're moving on to the last four, right? So some of you guys may, if who know me personally, you all may know, you all may know who, who the last four are, all right? And if you don't, I might surprise you, I may not surprise you. But number four, all right, and you guys are gonna might be surprised by this considering how feminine some of the other women were. But number four on my list is Chloe Grace Mortez. All right, guys, so the reason why I put her on the list, I'm a sucker for blonde hair, all right? I'm a sucker for blonde hair, big eyes, and she actually is one of the um, white chicks in here that actually have full lips. Full lips, great looking chick. She has like a Russian uh, look to her, like a German look to her, you know? She has like that that look to her, you know? Uh, like she kind of like that that timeless look to her, like the other chicks, not, you know, not as much, obviously. The other chicks, they, they look like they should just be frozen in time, right? But this chick, she looks like the moderate version of the last chicks that I showed you. I had to find one um, of one of her wallpapers, right? One of one of her photo shoots, you know? It was hard finding photos of her, that I had to get one where like, you know, she's an adult, because she's been in television for so long, that me and her around the same age actually, that it was hard to find some, but uh, I wanted to get it where she was like in her prime, like her 2025. So it's kind of hard to find some of these um, photos of her. Perfect photo shoot, and obviously you can have a perfect photo shoot, but the person's ugly, you can't pull it off. But she gets a 9.6 out of 10 on this list, only a little bit higher than Kelly Rowland. When I was making this, one of the odd things about Gabrielle Union is that she actually looks better as she gets older, which is so crazy to me. So obviously she's gorgeous, right? Not much to say. I don't want to keep repeating myself. Here she's a lot older, man. She's like in her late 30s. She actually looks better. Like she's like a sand or something like that, right? As she gets older, as she powers up, right? It's like she gets better and better and better and better and better looking. She's the only person on the list that I've ever seen look better as she gets older. And I don't know if I said this or not, but I'm, not, I'm counting them in their prime, primarily. But so to say that she gets uglier, she gets older, is a complete lie. She actually looks better. Again, high cheekbones, pretty smile. Uh, what do I have to say, man? We're, we're in the top three. You guys get it. They have all those features that I mentioned before. I thought this picture would be good to kind of to kind of examine, right? She, so she has box braids, which I find to be ugly. Um, and then she also has like a scar on her eye here, right? But she still looks good. Who cares? Who cares? She still looks great. She still looks great. This is an up-to-date picture of her. I think it's like 2021. Still, still a gorgeous woman. Still crazy, right? She's a 10 in her own right. When we get to this level, they're all they're all 10s in their own right. But when compared to each other, who 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 wins the contest, right? Who wins the contest? And here's her again when she's young. So you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. She looks better as she gets older. Maybe that's me just liking 
more mature looking women, but she looks better as she gets older. But what's her rating though? That's what you guys are waiting for, right? The rating. Oh, you mean, like I said, tens in their own right. But when compared to the next two people I have in the list, Gabrielle Union gets a 9.7. She gets a 9.7. I had to do it. I was like, this is hard. No pun intended, but I had to give her a 9.7. Gorgeous looking woman, but does the other two look better than her? In my opinion, yes. So again, guys, we're talking about childhood uh, fantasy chicks, all right? Like when, when you're when you're a kid, man, like I said, you ever you know, saw her two can play the game, walking up with those long, uh, uh, you know, legs. I'm just like, oh my God, all right? She's not that tall, but she was taller than me when I was a kid. Next person I have to say, a model, an ex-wrestler, believe it or not, I know a wrestling chick being attractive. After I saw her, I'm like, no, she can look better than her, right? Childhood, childhood chick, right? I remember I bought the magazines of her and everything, all right? Sipping it up pretty hard as a kid. Um, the next person on my list that gets number two in my list is Stacey Keeper. So as you guys know, I'm reading this in their prime. Um, and uh, yeah, same thing, man. Very dominant look. Um, has those hazel eyes, right? You can fall into her eyes. Uh, blonde hair, you guys know I'm a sucker for blonde hair. Trick looks amazing, man. Yet again, another picture. I know she has makeup on, but everyone else does. Uh, but yeah, great looking chick, man. Uh, not, not, not too much to say, I don't want this video to be too long, but great looking chick, you know? I was trying to get her from different angles, but there's not too many pictures from this time frame of her prime from different angles, but again, phenomenal. Now I had to add this picture because I was like, this is the picture that was in my magazine, all right? Very similar to the look, she has the hair, kind of kind of rascal dazzle, right? But at the same time, she still has like this classic, classy look to her, right? Now she does look a little bit more mischievous than the other than the other females in the list, um, but she still has like, this classic, classic look, you know? Uh, she has the, like if a guy's looking for a white chick, there you go, there she is, right? There she is. She's very tall though, so I don't know if people will like that. Face-wise, her in her prime, she gets a 9.8 for me, man, a 9.8. You guys can see how hard this list was, right? But you guys said you wanted a list, so I'm giving you guys the top 10 list. So we're gonna be moving on to number one. Can you guys guess who it is? Um, this was a fun video to make, by the way. So if it gets, like I said, if it gets enough views, I might do another one. But moving on to number one, okay? She played in Mean Girls. Can you guys guess who it is? She played in Mean Girls. Great looking chick. If you guys know me personally, you already know who it is, man. You already know who it is. The number one spot, the woman that I rated 10, is Amanda Seyfried. So regardless if it was her in her prime or her up to date, great looking chick, guys. There's not really much I have to say. All the same thing, she has the rosy cheeks. She's one of the only chicks that actually naturally has rosy cheeks. I've noticed that as well. Um, but yeah, good looking chick, man. There's not really too much to go through the list. Good looking chick, man. There's, there's really not too much, right? Um, if you like more thin women, which, you know, most guys do, that she's 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 the one to go for yeah, and this is her when she was a little bit younger during the mean girls uh stage but seductive look kind of have the mouth open you guys know they always have kind of like the slight mouth open but one of the main factors for her she has those rosy cheeks man uh she has those rosy cheeks like a cartoon character practically and another one right i try to get a couple of uh ones for you guys hair you know uh goldilocks looking hair right she has those those gorgeous eyes um Clear skin, have that red on, looking very, very classy. She looks like a little bit like those, actually a lot like those chicks that were in black and white that I showed you all. Again, very mature looking, has a slight smile, doesn't have to do too much. Just, you know, just pulling it off, pulling it off great. All right, you guys, so that was my list. Like I said, hopefully this video is not too long. I have no idea how long the video is. Um, I'm really hoping it's not over 15 minutes because I'll try to make this video short for you all. But I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a backstory on why I say what I say. But that's the type of one I like, I like classy women, I like very mature looking women, I like feminine looking women. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for blonde hair, blah, 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 blah. You guys kind of get why I rate the women, what I rate them. And uh, hopefully this kind of clarifies on uh, people kind of saying, well, you don't like any black chicks, you hate black women, blah, 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 blah. Uh, hopefully that, that kind of brings some clarification to what type of black woman that I like. And you can't say, oh, Castle is dark skinned women, because a lot of the chicks on my list were actually dark skinned, right? Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys disagree, if you guys agree, who you guys will say the top 10 is. I want to know in the comments below. Let me know. Constructive criticism, you can be a dick, I don't really care, but I want to know what you guys' opinions are on the official, this is the official, most gorgeous women 
whoever walked the face of the earth, all right? Let me know in the comments below. But you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this mm, jungle that we call you. So I feel this is made for the video. Remember, I'm not arrogant, I'm just confident, and thank you for watching.